In this video, we're going to go over creating our list in our autoresponder company. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up in Aweber because that is the autoresponder I use. Uh, there's a lot of different options out there. You're free to choose whichever you want. Um, again, I just personally use Aweber, and the the steps don't change a whole lot from autoresponder to autoresponder. But again, um, because Aweber is what I use, and I can't possibly show you how to do it in every single one, um, we're going to use Aweber for the video. So you can follow along if you use Aweber. If not, you'll get the main idea, and it won't be very different in the autoresponder that you use. So in Aweber, when you log in, all you need to do, do is go up here and create and manage lists, and then you can create a new list. Um, so the first thing you need to do is give the list a name. So I'm just going to put test campaign, and I will just choose one of these. And this isn't real important, won't really be seen. Uh, your list description um, will occasionally be seen, so you want to put something that relates to whatever it is you're giving away. So we could put free traffic report. And then of course you would just put in your name and your email address as well. And then we just simply hit save settings. And then from there we can go on to the next step which is to personalize our list. So then from there we have our company name, so you can put your company name in there. Your website URL, so whatever website it is um, that you're using, you can type that in there. Um, you can use the email signature. It's not necessary because you can actually put your email signature when you create every message. So we can leave that blank from now, for now, or you can fill it in. Um, and then we just have some other options here: um, the ability to tweet your broadcast, post it on Facebook, um, create an archive. You know, you don't have to worry a whole lot about these unless you plan on using those features. Um, I personally don't use those, so we'll just skip over those. They're not incredibly important. We can save our settings again. And then from there, we need to create our confirmed opt-in. And from here, there is a couple changes I usually make on this page. So the subject, and again, this is the email people will get after they opt into your list. So if you have double opt-in, which means they have to opt in and then go and click a link in a confirmation message. This is your confirmation message. Now, most autoresponders will let you do a single opt-in, which means it will skip this step. I personally don't do that um, because, number one, this is going to make sure you get legitimate email addresses. Uh, there was a study recently. I don't have it in front of me. But there's a very high percentage of people who just simply enter in a bogus email address, you know, just to get your freebie. And that, of course, doesn't help you at all if they're putting in a bogus email address. So by using double opt in, it makes sure that they put in a real email address. Because if they put in a fake one, they'll never get this message and they'll never be able to download whatever it is you're giving away. And once they realize that, chances are if they really do want that, they're going to go back to your opt in page and then type in their real email address. Um, it'll also cut down on spam complaint, complaints, which is very important. So I personally recommend double opt-in, but again, that's going to be up to you. So if you are using double opt-in, you want to customize your confirmation message. So what I first do is um, is edit the, the, um, the subject line. So right now it just says confirm your subscription. I like to put something um, in regards to confirm your request for the free so I just put confirm your request for the free traffic profits guide so whatever it is you're giving away for free make sure and reference that um, in the subject line because it'll help get that email opened um, then you can also customize the initial initial message here and you can also add a custom closing so again you could just put you know thank you with your name now down here is the success page and what this is is this is where the subscriber will be taken after they confirm their email address so where you usually want to take them of course is to your thank you page so whatever it is or wherever it is that they can download whatever it is you're giving away for free so in this box right here, it's very important to put your thank you page address in here. Because again, 
um, when somebody confirms their email address, you want to actually give them what you promised them. So from there, you can simply just save the settings and your list is created and ready to go.